What if I told you that a junior quarterback who had just beaten his team's biggest rival and won a conference championship for the first time since 2004 and took his team to the playoffs, returned for his senior season, and got benched? This is Team Rivalry. For the first video in this series that we're calling the two minute drill, we're going to be discussing the quarterback controversy going on at Michigan right now, because that is a conundrum that Michigan fans are dealing with currently. Many of the more vocal portions of the fan base are calling for five-star sophomore JJ McCarthy to start over incumbent starter Cade McNamara, the aforementioned quarterback who just won the Big Ten Championship for Michigan, their first since 2004, just beat Michigan's biggest rival, Ohio State, for the first time since 2011 and took his team to their first ever playoff appearance. Michigan fans are suffering from what I'm going to call elite quarterback syndrome. Elite quarterbacks being the types of players that can make plays both with their arms and their legs. Possibly even both arms, but I'm guessing probably both legs. Michigan hasn't really had a quarterback like that, although Denard Robinson is probably the closest they've ever come. This particular season, though, Michigan finds themselves with potentially the most offensive weaponry that a Harbaugh-coached football team has ever had. This includes the return of their Big Ten championship winning quarterback and a young, talented sophomore to back him up, the former representing safety, stability, and consistent production, the latter representing that X factor that Michigan fans are clamoring for, that ability to make really big and exciting plays but also big mistakes. This isn't to say necessarily that I think McNamara should be the de facto starter ahead of J.J. McCarthy. I'm just kind of surprised that after seven years of, let's call it, relatively inconsistent quarterback play, that Michigan finally has a solid quarterback returning for his senior season, already with a ton of big game experience and a conference championship, and yet fans are so quick to dismiss that in favor of the flashier quarterback. On the contrary, J.J. McCarthy does have another year of experience under his belt, and is most likely a vastly improved player. He may very well be the quarterback that Michigan needs this year because, make no mistake, Michigan has a very good shot of getting back to the playoffs, so this being a developmental year for younger talent is absolutely out of the question. Michigan has a very good shot of repeating as Big Ten champions. They just need the right quarterback to get them there. I trust Harbaugh to make that decision, but I also question the fans who are so quick to forget who it was under center last year when Michigan won their first Big Ten championship since 2004. Thanks for watching. If you're as excited as we are that college football starts this month, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button, stay tuned for future content, and we'll see you in the next video. All right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> All right, all right, all right.